Dad's name was Tony. He was a fantastic person. He was a brilliant husband. He was an incredible daddy. He was a great papa to his grandchildren. He was an all around good man. Daddy was a social worker, uh, very, very passionate about his job. Daddy was an incredibly fit man. Um, he trained Labradors. He was having a shortness of breath when he was walking up hills. We didn't really think very much of it, to be honest. Um, but then following a test x-ray and then examinations on from that, he was diagnosed, unfortunately, with mesothelioma. Even right up until Daddy passed away on New Year's Day, we kept saying, where do you think you might have got this from? For a long time, we were all in a period of shock. It was life shattering actually, it was awful. We knew what Daddy's job was. We knew that he had been a social worker. The doctors had asked Daddy, you know, have you ever had any known exposure? And Daddy did work. He was maybe on old building sites, but it was for maybe two months over a summer period when he was a student um, at uni. <laughs> we don't know. We just don't know where it came from. Um, there is, as I suppose there's as much likelihood as it, that it happened there as there is so in the number, the multiple buildings that he worked in over the years as well. Mesothelioma uh, is a devastating uh, diagnosis for anyone. About 50% of people who are diagnosed with it sadly pass away within that three to nine months. When asbestos is left undisturbed, it is of very low risk to anyone. However, it may have been a very distant exposure uh, as well. You only really need to be exposed to it once. For most people, it's probably been more of a common exposure during a, a period of time. It's extremely common for people not to know when they were exposed to it. The lag period is the problem because when you've been exposed to asbestos, the diseases related to it can take 20, 30, 40 years to become apparent. You wish that you knew where he was exposed. We are angry. It is something that is totally preventable. It is something that should not have happened. If us speaking out, and highlighting the dangers of asbestos and what it can do will help even one family. And I think that Daddy would be really proud to know that, that we'd done something like that to help someone else.